Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to convert assets from the Ethereum mainnet to the Ronin sidechain using the Ronin bridge. So let's take a look. Today, I'm going to be converting the Axie Infinity token using the Ronin bridge, but that's not the only asset that you can transfer from the Ethereum network to the Ronin sidechain. You can also do Ethereum, SLP, and USDC. And here we are at the Ronin Bridge. We're going to be depositing some Axie that I've just purchased on a Canadian exchange. Now, the Canadian exchange is called NDAX, but you can buy this on any other exchange that's available. I'll make sure I list some other exchanges available if you're looking at purchasing it yourself. You can also buy it directly off their website. So here it is. I have 24.71 Axie available. And if I switch back over here to the Ronin Bridge, there's a few things that we're going to want to do. You want to make sure that you have your MetaMask installed, and you also want to make sure that you have your Ronin wallet installed because it's going to need to connect to both wallets in order for it to do this transfer. So we're going to be doing a deposit and we're going to click on deposit and it's going to want to connect to my MetaMask wallet. And so I'm going to let that happen. I'll connect to it and you can see that I have MetaMask connected and it wants to connect to the Ronin network. Okay, and I'm just going to unlock my Ronin wallet by entering in the password here. And there we go. So I have both of these available now. So the first thing that we want to do is send some Axie to our wallet. So our MetaMask wallet is now connected. We want to make sure that you're on the Ethereum mainnet and we want to make sure also that we have the token available in the list. Now I don't have it in here, so I'm going to quickly add it. I'm going to do that by clicking on the import token option over here, and I can just select custom token. Now if I switch over here to coin market cap, I can get the Ethereum address right over here. I just have to click on copy. So I've copied that address and switch back over. And now I'm going to go ahead and put that in the custom token address right here. It'll automatically populate the symbol and the decimals. So we have that entered in and go ahead and click on the add custom token, and then we're going to import it. Okay, so now we have that asset available in our list. So we can identify how much tokens we have when it's been transferred. Now I haven't transferred anything yet. And what I want to do first is copy my MetaMask address up here at the top. And I'm going to switch over to my exchange. So here's the exchange. And like I had shown you previously, I have 24.71 available. And I'm going to send that right now. The only network that's available, and this is sort of the issue, there is no Ronin here. I can only send Ethereum and that's why I need the bridge. So I'm going to click on Ethereum and I'm gonna paste in my wallet address, and I'm gonna send the maximum amount, 24.51, and it's gonna cost me 0.2 axes in transaction fees. And that gives me my total withdrawal amount was just under 500 Canadian dollars. Check the option to send it, and then we're gonna go ahead and send that right now. It's gonna ask me for an authentication code. I'm gonna enter that in, and I just gotta prove it by switching over to my email. All right, so we're gonna close out of that, and it'll take a few minutes as it goes through the network, and it'll populate over here in just a moment. Might take a minute or two for that to take place. Um, what I'll do is I'll just skip over to the next part where I actually have it showing up here. Okay, so as you can see, the transfer has now been completed. We have our 24.51 axes available in our MetaMask wallet. So our MetaMask wallet is connected and you can see our address loaded up at the bottom. And now I'm gonna be entering in the destination address and the destination address I'm gonna be using is my Ronin wallet. And I'm just going to take it right over here up at the top and click on the copy option. And then I'm going to paste in the address. And the next thing that we want to do is select the asset that we're going to be using. We have all these assets available to use the Ronin bridge. I'm going to be using Axie as mine and I'm going to be transferring the entire amount. So I'm going to click on the max button here. As you can see, this is grayed out and what I have to do is approve it. So I have to click on this approve button up at the top. MetaMask pops open and then I get the transaction fee, which is $1.17. And I'm going to go ahead and confirm that. Okay, so that was approved. So we got the prompt from MetaMask and now we can go ahead and you can see it's available. So now we can go ahead and enter in the amount that we'd like. I have 24.51 available. I'm going to be using the maximum amount. And you can see over here the Ethereum charge that will be charged from my MetaMask wallet for the gas fees. And the only thing we have to do now is just click on submit. So once we click on submit, we're going to go ahead and bridge it from our Ethereum wallet, from MetaMask onto the Ronin network into our Ronin wallet. So click on submit and I'm gonna go ahead and approve this by clicking on confirm. So we got the notification here that it's been successfully confirmed on MetaMask and it's awaiting the Ethereum network to process this transaction. Okay, so we can see that it's been uh, successful on the Ethereum network. And now we're just waiting for the Ronin confirmation to let us know that the funds have now been put onto our, our Ronin wallet. Okay, so we just got notification here that deposit is complete. Your assets is distributed. View status on the Ronin Explorer. I'm just gonna go over here and pop into my wallet and see if the funds have shown up and yes they have so now i have 24.52 
I had a little bit left over from before and that looks great. So we're good to go. Everything has been transferred over from the Ethereum network onto the Ronin network using the Ronin bridge. And that's how you do it. Now, one more thing I'm gonna be doing right now is I am actually gonna be staking it. And that's the reason why I was converting it over. You can go ahead and use it for gaming and everything else that you wanna use on the platform. But in my particular case, I'm gonna be staking it. So I'm just gonna jump over into the staking dashboard. And I'll make sure I also link this into the description. Very high interest rate that you're getting right now. The APR is 72%, which is excellent. Since this bridge has actually launched again, it's dropped almost 10%. It was a little over 80% uh, just a couple of weeks ago. What I'm going to do is click on the stake button and I'm going to click on the maximum amount. So I have the maximum amount available here and I'm going to click on the stake button. Okay, there we go. Now we just need to confirm this transaction by clicking on the confirm button and it's going to drop it into my staking dashboard in just a moment here. There we go. It's been successful. I'm going to go ahead and click on close. And now my total amount staked is 32.20 Axie. I already had eight in there before. I'm just adding to that. And periodically as a, as a market drops, I just try to dollar cost average and pick up a little bit more and then shove it in here. Uh, and that's how you do it. That's how you use the Ronin bridge to take Axie from the Ethereum network onto the Ronin network. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please smash that like button. And if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.